Hey guys, Adam Baum here with some more tech tips. In this video, we're going to show you how to merge your iBooks library back into iTunes like the way it used to be. Uh, this is very useful if you'd like to manage your own EPUB files and like to edit the metadata associated with those files. It's a lot easier with the uh, older interface. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the iBooks app and the iTunes app are completely closed. And then we're going to want to go to System Preferences to make sure that iTunes doesn't launch automatically. You click Users and Groups. You click Login Items. And just make sure that the iTunes and iBooks app are not on this list. And if it is, just click on it and hit the minus sign to remove it. The next step is going to require us to run a terminal command that stops the iBook process from running in the background. This has been tested on 10.10, .10, which is Mavericks, 10.11, El Capitan, and 10.12, which is the new Mac OS Sierra. The easiest way to get to Terminal is to go up to the top right corner and just type in Terminal into the Spotlight search. The command itself is actually pretty long, so I'll leave a copy of it in the description box of this video, so you can copy and paste it right into this Terminal window. It'll ask for your password, so just type in your admin password and hit Enter. You might get a, a long, funny-looking error, but it's either going to do what it needs to do or not do anything at all, which in that case it's okay. Next, you're going to want to do a Google search for an app called App Cleaner. It's a free app, and this is the App Cleaner website. You're going to want to click on the latest version here on the right. And once it downloads, you can open it out of your Downloads folder. And if it asks for permission to open this, just hit Open. You can trust this app. You can now close your browser, and you should have a window that looks like this. This is the App Cleaner app. And the way it works is you're going to want to open up your Applications folder and find the iBooks app. And you're going to want to drag the app into the App Cleaner. So if it makes it easier, you can resize your window so that you can see the App Cleaner app. And just drag iBooks into the app. And it's going to tell you that it's a protected app. So you click Preferences and this middle box here, Protect Default Mac OS Apps, you can uncheck. And go ahead and drag the iBooks app one more time. You'll see a bunch of system files for iBooks appear. Just click Remove, and you should be OK. Enter in your admin password, hit Enter, and now we should be ready to restart our computer. Once your Mac restarts, you can go ahead and open up iTunes, and you should see a new category called Books and all of your EPUB files will be there and it's uh, much better than the iBooks app because it lets you edit all the metadata like so and the only downside is you can't actually read the book on here like you did in the iBooks app but it's good for people who have large collections of EPUB files and like to edit their own data and it's still able to be synced over to your iPhone or iPad to be read on there.